Hey, this is Movie Edge. I'm doing another collection video for you guys and uh, girls out there. And um, this time, it's going to be Shout Factory. Yes. And I know people are going to write it in the comments below. But Shout Factory, there's more than one name for Shout Factory. There's Shout Factory, there's Scream Factory, there's Shout Select. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> it's going under Shout Factory. Why? Because it's the same company. They just put it under a different uh, title. So, if it's a Shout Factory or Scream Factory, I will show you the back and... Yeah, okay? No big deal. But, um... I'm gonna get started. Most of these are comedies. So, just... Just so that you know already. They're comedies. And the, um... Maybe one sci-fi, one comedy horror, and, uh, yeah. I got a stack here, and then another stack right next to me. So, I'm going to get started with my Shout Factory collection. Yeah. Like my Shopwells t-shirt? Yeah. Shopwells. You know what movie that's from? If you do, comment below. You don't win anything, but you get my respect. All right. Um, first one here. When I first seen this come to um, Blu-ray, I had to have it because for the longest time, it was on DVD in full screen, and that's that's just disgusts me. What am I talking about? Death Becomes Her. One of my favorite uh, movies directed by Robert Zemeckis. Bruce Willis in this movie, they made him look so freaking old. But the special effects in this movie are just great for the time um, that this was made. And, uh, yeah, this was made in 1992. So the effects on this for 92, pretty damn good. Um, I'll show you the inside of it. See, this is the reverse artwork. This, I think, was the original artwork. You know, um, or the teaser trailer artwork, I think it was. And then inside, you can actually um, change the artwork. Of course, if you're a Shout Factory fan, you know that already. And that's the other artwork. I just liked different artwork um, as opposed to the um, cover on the slip. And, um, yeah. So this was one I had to have when it came out on Shout Factory. I did um, pre-order it, um, paid full price for it, but hey, it's Death Becomes Her. Come on. Okay. Next. This one took me a while to get, but uh, when I did, I'm very happy. I had to wait down until it goes down in price because why was it so expensive? I don't know. Uh, I wanted to get it before it went out of print, and that is UHF, Weird Al Yankovic. I really wish he would have made more movies. His videos are great. I really wish they would release um, a Shout Factory special edition with all his videos on it. I know there's a DVD out there with all his videos, but I really wish they would Shout Factory would release um, um, music videos of his from the beginning to now. Uh, this was uh, actually released by, it's released by Shout Factory, but it's actually originally released by Orion, which has recently made a comeback with movies. Not that much of a comeback, but they're, they're working their way up. It's owned by MGM as well. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a look at the inside artwork. Actually, that's the original artwork. I did use the inside artwork. This is the new artwork. So, yeah, this. didn't. I sadly didn't get the poster with it because I would have had to pre-order that um, to get it, but I didn't do it. And uh, the inside, the disc is cool. The disc is really cool. Yeah. If you have never seen UHF, you, you have to you have to check it out. You have to pick it up. I know it's still available in places on DVD if you're not a Blu-ray fan. And um, so, yeah. 
and uh, special features check that out check all those special features out man yeah that's a that's a cool one we're Yankovic UHF one of my favorites from him next here's something I also pre-ordered and I couldn't wait for it to come out because it was on it was on MGM DVD for the very longest time but in full screen and I hate full screen and the cast is great what am I talking about Mr. Mom one of Michael Keaton's best comedy next to Johnny Dangerously ah, if you haven't seen Johnny Dangerously with Michael Keaton in it you have to get that on DVD and check it out it's not available on Blu-ray yet but uh, this one's got uh, Michael McKe no, um, Michael Keaton, Terry Garr, also starring Martin Mull and Jillian and Christopher Lloyd in a really small part. If you blink, you missed them. Um, yeah, it uh, was written by um, John Hughes and um, executive produced by Aaron Spelling. Yeah. Um, special features. Uh, let's see I'm here. This. <coughs> Sorry. This, I think, was the original artwork used for the poster art. I'm not sure. But um, it's either that or this, which I don't really care for this artwork. It looks like it's a cut and paste job on um, on the computer. Really didn't care for it that much. This one I, I would have loved to have seen on the cover itself. Um, ah, special features. Original theatrical trailer. Uh, a look back with producers, co-star Angelian. Yeah, Michael Keaton didn't do anything on here, did he? Mm -mm. It's region A locked as well. So, yeah. I got to keep forgetting to do that. I like to tell people if it's region A locked or not. So let's see. Region A locked. And Region A locked. Just in case you're wondering. Next. Next. I got a really good deal on this one uh, recently. It was like last month, I think, or the month before. And that is Bill and Ted's um, excellent collection. This one right here, I wanted for a very long time. And um, just I just couldn't afford it. It was just skyrocketing in price. But Shout Factory, for a limited time, put this out with the Rufus figure from uh, NECA. Yeah, NECA figure. And um, I'm like, that's a good deal. 25 bucks. Of course, you had to pay shipping, so it jacks it up a little bit more. But this was well worth it. If I can open it. This is also region 8 locked. Okay. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Comes with this little pick. Guitar pick. Wild Stallions. That is, that is freaking cool. If I could get a... Yeah, it's still blurry, but it's there. Comes with that. Don't want to lose that. An advertisement. Advertisement for uh, if you want the Bill and Ted NECA figures, which I do, but I'm probably not going to be able to afford them. Um, I was thinking Toys R Us might have them because they're going out of business soon but I'm thinking I'm not gonna find these at all Neko figures are probably the first ones that went on the other side you have um, advertisements for other movies and uh, what else was in this package um, sure let's uh, get this out of there and I will show you it also came with two stickers Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure sticker and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey sticker which probably not going to get used They're probably just going to stay in this for um yeah the uh inside artwork 
it's the back which basically is different from that back um, the disc disc one disc two and underneath that you got the back of bogus journey so this is not really a um, yeah I mean you can you you could flip this but there's really no cover to it it's just the backings that tells you who's in the movie so yeah I don't want to flip it but I like this cover anyway it's really cool thick a thick solid case and um, yeah so Bill and Ted's uh, most excellent collection I'm still looking for uh, the two Teen Wolf movies that they released like this as well which it still hasn't gone down in price and uh, slip cover nothing really much to it and uh, that is that next this one I pre-ordered as soon as it was uh, announced and that was the Pink Panther uh, collection which this uh, was released originally by MGM and uh, I actually sold it to get this and uh, but MGM did not have Trail of the Pink Panther on it they only had um, I'll show you the back they only had uh, the Pink Panther, um, a Shot in the Dark, Return of the Pink Panther. No, actually, I don't even think they had a Return of the Pink Panther on there. Um, Pink Panther Strikes Again, Revenge of the Pink Panther, and that was it. That was all that was on the uh, MGM one. So when I seen this, yeah, I had to have it. Um comes with a booklet nice nice thick booklet and uh, yeah of course it's got the uh, advertisement in there and uh, you know just give you a page of them these behind the scenes photos and stuff like that it's well worth picking up quality is great I'll show you the inside disc one disc two stuck together disc three disc four disc five disc six that was it um again this is that reversible artwork it just has the credits i'll show you the credits on the back inside so it's not really reversible artwork but i didn't care about that I just cared about getting all of them on Blu-ray. Now the two movies that are missing from this, Curse of, yeah, Curse of the Pink Panther and Son of Pink Panther, um, not in this set, but you can get them separate on uh, Kino Lauber. So, yeah. Which I'll be doing a Kino Lauber video soon. So you can see that. So, all right. Next, I think I bought this. I think my wife got this on Black Friday, and I need to replace the case because it is cracked. The Baba Duke. It's an IFC film, but it's distributed by Shout Factory, otherwise known as Scream Factory. Okay. Here's the back of it, and this is, um, yeah, Region A locked. I, you could buy this in, you could buy this in the UK and anywhere in Europe, actually. Um, it's the original cover art, which I didn't care for that much. I wish I could get the slip for this, the limited edition slip, where it opens up like a pop-up book, but, uh, this is all they had on Black Friday. So I dropped... I dropped it once, so it's like, uh, I don't think you're going to catch it, but there's a crack right here, and 
the top thing doesn't the top one doesn't clip anymore so whatever and I didn't actually watch this yet I'm waiting for probably just gonna wait for Halloween I guess next one of my favorite ones I ordered this from I want to see Amazon I ordered this from when it went down really down in price and it's one of my favorite movies personally from John Carpenter they live this is the best Roddy Piper movie just hands down um, I still want to see Hell Comes to Frogtown uh, I wish Shout would put that out but they haven't yet or I don't know if they're ever going to but that movie I want to get a hold of I know it's on Arrow Video in, uh, in the UK I think but not yet here and when it does I want to get it um, this is uh, of course Scream Factory there you go and there's the back to it um, there is reversible artwork on this there's a classic universal cover from uh, the DVD um, and the back and the back is pretty much just, no it's actually the back is different back is different the back's got uh, Keith David on it and this side it's got Roddy Piper on it kind of cool uh, <laughs> yep. this thing is loaded with special features it's got audio commentary with the director John Carpenter and Roddy Piper yeah and actor Roddy Piper a new interviews with director uh, John Carpenter the making of They Live, theatrical trailers, TV spots, and more. And, uh, yeah, this is um, one of the best sci-fi movies, in my opinion. Yeah. Rest in peace, Roddy Piper. He did an awesome job with this movie. It was like his first... I want to say this was his first movie... Uh, he was in WWF at the time, which is now WWE. I think this is like the very first star to make a movie. Um, well, actually carry a movie by himself. I know Hulk Hogan was in movies probably before him. He was in a Rocky movie. He was in um, some other stuff. But I think Roddy Piper was the first WWE superstar to be in an actual movie and he held it himself. He carried that whole thing. And if I'm wrong about the first WWE star making a movie, comment below. Um, yeah, this one I had to have. Unfortunately, it got ruined. The artwork got ruined in a fire that we had. Um, I want to say it's two years now. It got ruined in a fire, but the disc was still good. Uh, easy money and minute work. Now, why they made this a double feature, I have no clue. I wanted this and this separate, but yeah. I had this on DVD, which was out of print. This one's going out of print slowly. Um, this is uh, owned by MGM. Both of these are still owned by MGM. Uh... Give me a shot at the back here. There you go. You can read that. Pause it. And uh, it's, huh. it says it says uh, region one on this, but it should say region A locked. That's weird. Anyway, because it's a Blu-ray, not a DVD. And um, of course, the in inner artwork is basically the credit side of both of these so that's pretty cool um did actually at the time still have this disc uh, from the ruined copy of the artwork so what I did I kept it for a while and my wife works for a um, graphics design um, department for a hospital and they have a and she has access to um, a print shop and um, 
a print shop, graphics and stuff, and stuff like that. So what I made her do is just, I found, when I bought this, I made her scan this copy. And um, I made her scan this copy perfectly with the, tried to get the paper exact to the paper that they use in here. And it came out exactly perfect. And uh, pretty much uh, sent it to Cinema Sickness um, at the time. Because I didn't want to get rid of it. I knew he didn't have this on Blu-ray, so I just gave it to him. Um, in hindsight, I should have charged him for it. Wink, wink. Um, yeah, but uh, two of my favorite comedies right here. Easy Money and Men at Work. The only problem I have with Easy Money is there's deleted scenes that they used in the trailer that never seen the light of day. I mean, it was in a movie... I think when it was originally theatrically released, there was a lot of people commenting on it. There was a, a dream sequence where Rodney Dangerfield and the mother-in-law was having a boxing match. And when it came to uh, VHS and DVD, now Blu-ray, it's gone. It's not in there. The only way you could see it, a little part of it, is from the trailer. And I think the trailer is on here. I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't say trailer in here, but there you go. Two of my favorite comedies. Next, this is kind of weird for being on, um, for being on, um, Shout Factory, the producers. Why am I saying this is weird? Because technically this... It's got a little water damage on it, too, from the fire, but it's not as bad as uh, the last one I showed you. Um, this was owned by MGM, right? And uh, they, MGM and I think 20th, I'm looking over. Yeah, MGM and 20th Century Fox put out the Mill Brooks collection. For some reason, this movie did not get in that collection. Why didn't it get in the collection? Don't know. It's clearly MGM. This is one of uh, Mel Brooks' best directed movies at the beginning of his career. And um, why didn't it end up in there? Why didn't it end up at Shout? I don't know. I found this uh, actually at a disc replay near my house. And... Um, pretty good price so I grabbed it I didn't actually grab it I boom, I grabbed it off the shelf you know there's like no one around it and I'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so uh, um, there is I'm looking for special features on here hmm, I don't know uh, Actually, this is weird because it comes with a DVD and a Blu-ray. And a lot of them don't. You could change the artwork, but I didn't really care for that artwork. You know, just didn't do it for me. Um, it's got a bunch of quotes on the back of it, too. I'll show you this one. Yeah, see the back. It's basically almost the same. You know, but uh, I didn't really like that um, cover art. So I went with this one. And, uh, ah, it's on the fact. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blind. The special features are right here. Uh, the Making of the Producers, a documentary. Um, Mel and his movies, the producers. Um, the Etchco trailer. Sketch Gallery, Deleted Scene. Damn, I have to actually see that. Uh, and more, because I didn't watch the special features on here yet. No. Great cast, though, if I didn't mention it. It's uh, Gene Wilder, Zero Mostel, um, Dick Sean, and... Uh, God, I forgot his name. Another famous comedian on here. 
and it's going to come to me after I stop. Oh wow. But it is uh, him right here. He was actually in um, a lot of movies for Mel Brooks and he also was in Malcolm in the Middle. So there you go. And rest in peace he passed away. Actually all these people have passed away in this movie almost except for Mel Brooks. Okay next stack. Well you know what I'm going to show you this first. This I bought for my wife recently on Amazon because it was on sale. And she wanted this series, this TV series, and uh, the Shout Factory one is the better um, the better version than the Mill Creek one because they're all individually in things. And what am I talking about? The Nanny. Don't really care for this show. Fran Drescher gets on my nerves. And um, yeah. Although, if you want to see her topless, uh, check out um, check out the movie uh, Cadillac Man. Beginning of that movie, she's topless. Um, <laughs> just a tidbit of information. Complete series. It's got a bonus disc on there full of uh, extras. And uh, didn't really pay that much for this. I only paid like 30 something dollars this thing and it usually goes for more like 50 and more and uh each i'll just pull out i'm just gonna pull out one but uh it's really nicely done each one of them has a track listings and all the episodes listed and uh if i can open this it's got one two three four five six it's like seven discs on season two. Yeah. The artwork is not... The artwork is really not um, reversible, but look at that. They did a really great job. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean these cases off. And they're kind of sticky. Um, but yeah. Um, what they did was basically... <laughs> We'll leave that out for now. But what they basically did with this series, which was I am impressed with, they put season one and two on this. Season there you go. Season three and four and five and six. So if you're looking, you know, to save space, instead of having like a crap load of them all over the place, yeah. It saves space and yeah. And this is the bonus bonus disc but I don't know what kind of material if you can hear that it is a really really shitty case I have a better one than this I could replace it but yeah and there's the bonus disc inside and no reversible artwork just inner artwork so that was the nanny and uh, that was for my wife uh, late Valentine's Day present for her so and there's also a book in here which I don't really want to pull out but uh, it has a bunch of behind the scenes photos and other stuff in there so that was the nanny TV series okay coming up next the one and only no no this is actually one of four steel books that me and my wife own okay and it is, I got this for damn cheap price. I got it for like $9.07 on uh, Amazon. Transformers, the movie. Had to have this. Now, I found the MRA of this. And the MRA, for some reason, is the same exact thing. And it's more expensive. Why? I don't know. This sticker doesn't really belong on here. I just took it off the cellophane to put it on there. Just to say it was the 30th anniversary. And uh, here's a look at the back. I love the steel book. It's actually pretty cool. And um, the J card that I saved for the uh, barcode, actually. And uh, yeah, you get the uh, Autobots and the Decepticons are over here. And uh, two discs. Which, why two discs? I, I have no idea. One, well, I'm going to do it like this. I don't know. It, it would have been just 
one disc would have been enough. But this one's widescreen, this one's full screen, and um, yeah, it's, I I still don't get that. It's it's really stupid why they did that. Maybe that's why it was cheaper than the MRA, but I don't know because I don't know what's in the MRA. I found the MRA at uh, uh, Second and Charles, and um, they wanted like 17 bucks for the thing, and I'm like, no, I'm not paying that. Um, this came pretty much mint in the mail. Uh, there's a little scratch here, and on the back, there's like a little scratch here and here. But you know what? I that's why I don't collect steel books. Steel books are too. You have to protect these better than you can just amore cases, and you can't replace these. That's why I don't go for steel books ever. The only other steel books I have is one that I won off of the Blu-ray Obsession. And if you haven't checked out his channel, Blu-ray Obsession, Blu-ray Obsession on uh, YouTube, check him out. He's a really great collector. Um, and um, I won off of him the Dwayne Johnson version of uh, Hercules. And from there, way before that, I ordered a Bambi, um, a Bambi UK version, um, when they had the special slips of Bambi, and for some reason, the seller sent me the Zabby Steelbook. It was in mint condition, and it was factory sealed. They never contacted me back, so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to keep it. It looks great. It looks beautiful. I ended up getting the uh, the Bambi on Signature Series anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's just for show now. Um, and then there's this one, so that's three. And then I got, uh, or my wife has um, a French film, I think, was on DVD, um, Steelbook. And that's it. Don't collect Steelbooks. Um, of course, if the price is right and it's a movie that I am looking for, I will... I will buy it. I will buy it. This was cheap. I bought it. Next. Something I've shown in previous videos, but um, I'm going to show it again because this is the Shout Factory collection video for now. Until I get more, and then I'll do an update. Um, these are all 4Ks, and they're all IMAX films. And I'm going to start off with Mysteries of China. And, uh, yep, and this is narrated by uh, Avery Books of uh, Deep Space Nine fame. There's the back. don't think these have reversible. I don't think they're reversible. No, but the asinine thing is, if you could see that, there's artwork on the other side of the Great Wall of China. Why would they do that when this case is pure black? It's solid black. I don't know. This comes with the 4K and the Blu-ray. Yeah. I didn't even... I, it is the first time I did that, so I didn't even know. Um, first one. Second one. Um, the, la the Last Reef. City Beneath the Sea. This one was actually really, it popped on uh, 4K, and um, this comes with the 4K, the 3D Blu-ray, which, whatever, and Blu-ray and digital copy. But the digital copy is, you have to be a part of Shock Factory's digital, you know, thing, and I really don't care about their digital um, codes, because that's just something else to download, and watch out for and uh, I don't think there's actual artwork on these but now that I'm curious because I checked that one uh, yeah sure enough if you could see that sure enough there is a uh, artwork artwork on the inside of these things why would they do that 
I don't know, you can barely see it. I don't want to take it out, but yeah, there's... That... Oh, no. It blows my mind. They should have just put these in clear cases. Uh, instead, but... Uh, yeah. That is... <laughs> the last wreath. The last reef city beneath the sea. And, uh... Okay. Coming up next, uh, humpback whales. Um, there we go. This also has the the 4K Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, and digital copy, narrated by Ewan McGregor. Um, I don't think anyone else narrated this one. Um, Jamie Lee narrated uh, this one. I don't know who that is. Anyway, this is a really cool one, too. And uh, not many special features. They have something about uh, Pacific Life on there if you want to donate. And uh, the discs themselves, all of these are beautiful. So you have artwork on it. And um, they, are taking their, they are taking their time at um, quality and stuff. Of course, this one's got, if you can see it, artwork on the inside as well. Oh, God, that, that, it's so a waste, you know? If you're going to use 4K cases, you know, use clear cases instead of the 4K cases. Hmm. Um, these next three, unfortunately, I didn't get the slips with them, but it doesn't bother me. This is a um, Flight of the Butterflies, and it's uh, 4K, 3D, and Blu-ray. And uh, this one got great reviews as well. I think it's still playing at certain, like, Omnimax Dome Theaters throughout the United States. Beautiful artwork on that. And, uh, of course, there's artwork on the inside as well. Wow. Wow. And, uh, this one I have not seen, uh, well, yes, I did. Did I? I don't remember. But this one I bought because it was just so interesting. I don't even think I watched this yet. Yeah, man, my brain is just gone. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Experience. Um, it's got a lot of special features on here. It's got, um, Railroads um, 52, no, from 1952, a 22-minute docu 22 22 documentary, a trailers, um, it's got some other 11-minute animated short from Canada, so this is well worth picking up. Artwork, beautiful artwork, yes, if you're a train fan, pick it up, and uh, there it goes, inside artwork again. <laughs> Finally, I got one left. Journey, Journey to Space, uh, narrated by Patrick Stewart. Who narrated this one? I don't think anyone narrated Rocky Mountain one. No, no one famous. Well, this one was narrated by Patrick Stewart, and um. This one, yeah, this one is the uh, 4K Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray. No digital. I think this was out before they started the digital stuff. Um, and uh, special features. Oh, there we go. Behind the scenes footage, uh, photo gallery, and 4K trailers. So, there you go. And the inside artwork... It's beautiful, yeah. Um, and in case you're wondering, all the Blu-rays are Region A locked, but the 4Ks, of course, are not because they don't put regions on there. Um, well, there's something else I wanted to say about this, but uh, yeah, I forgot. But anyway, that is Journey to Space. Now, there's two more coming out in uh, the end of June, which I will probably pick up 
when the prices go down. Right now, pre-order prices are crazy. Um, one is about national parks, and the other one is um, building like uh, building like big things like buildings and um, bridges and stuff like that. There was a coming out at the uh, towards the end of June, which I'll be getting, and I'll be doing uh, reviews on that and whatnot. Um, as soon as I get them, I don't want to spend that much money on this. The total I spent on those 4Ks, probably the m most expensive one was 20 bucks. So yeah, I won't spend that much on those. But that could, completes this um, this um, collection. Ow collection on um, my uh, Screen Factory uh, collection. So, if you have any comments or questions about any of the stuff I showed, comment, question below. And, um, of course, you can get a hold of me on uh, Instagram at uh, MovieEdge1. And, um, that's it. <laughs> this is Movie Edge signing off. And remember, movies are your best entertainment. Take care, people.